And once again, we are back with the cursed nation of Paphlagonia, guys. Last time, it didn't go too well, did it? After our long march north up to Sinop, we were finally destroyed by the Galatians themselves. So today, we're going to be trying a brand new tactic to see whether it is even winnable, this faction, or even possible to survive as this cursed faction. We start with... No army, pretty much. A terrible, terrible army making no money with what is, in my opinion, the weakest faction start in the whole game. If you want to check out part one, guys, or any of the other challenge videos, check out the links in the description down below. And if you enjoy this video, guys, 100 likes will do part two and subscribe while you're there as well. But without further ado, let's get into the video. And we're back as Paphlagonia, guys. This is going to be incredibly, incredibly fun. <laughs> Obviously, we're playing on very hard, very hard, guys. And with extreme mode, as usual in all of these challenges. And that just adds the extra bit of zest, the extra bit of spice into my ever-blackening heart and soul. But last time, we did attack the Pontics over here before going up to Sinope and trying to survive that way before Galatia came and put an end to our fun. So we have been suggested a tactic by Ahal, the lead mod on RTR Imperium Serectum. So thank you to him for this tactic. And it goes as follows. Screw Pontus. Screw these useless cities. Let's go north. Let's go for Heraclea Pontica potentially the GCS, maybe even Karambis, and see whether we can survive that way. I'm not holding out a huge amount of hope, but uh, but I'm not exactly known for hope, am I? Let's be honest, guys. <laughs> well, first things first, guys, let's get our army moving. We're actually going to leave behind the Javelin Men and take our generals with us because we are going to try and migrate away from this place, honestly. We're going to get our spy up into the north to have a check of Heraclea Pontica in P Gangra. Now, Gangra is not exactly a brilliant town, but we're going to go up to a very high, and I am going to build something that's going to bring us money in the short term. Probably the land clearance there, because I assume Gangra, you know, the trade plus seven. Yeah, I remember now. This is an economic powerhouse, you might say, guys. <laughs> we are also going to recruit some... Uh, Paphlagonian Cavalry with the rest of our money because we can get three. And we can do a lot of damage with three units of those boys over the Phrygian Spearmen, which are, I've got to say, pretty darn terrible. <laughs> well, there we go. Alliance with the Galatians. Let's see how that lasts. Well, we've got a spy in Tiayun. So let's see if we can uh, go and... Uh, yes! Glorious! Thank you, Spy, for the first time in these challenges. You have been useful. Glorious! Something appealing! Something appalling! Well, I don't think our Asian royal bodyguards are going to have much struggle against the Greek bodyguard. But uh, you never know. We'll probably lose both of our generals and lose the campaign. <laughs> naughty, naughty. You teasing me, you naughty, naughty. <laughs> Well, charge, men! Charge for Paphlagonia! We have managed to surround them, so that is uh, <laughs> pretty good. And uh, I just realized, charge for Paphlagonia, probably not a sentence you've ever heard before, or maybe ever will again. <laughs> well, we lost a whole two men in that fight. The Asian Royal Bodyguards are pretty darn good, I've got to say, guys. That is one benefit to our... Yes! army if you could call it that and i think because we need the money we're gonna be exterminating from now on guys i know it's a bit obscene and a bit scary but it should be okay for us can we actually we can't actually get in there this turn we can actually see where their army is oh that is single man a single man reveal yourself we can actually go and siege down heraclea pontos right now that's a very juicy tempting thing to do let's have a look. Can we leave Twilight Wallop? Yes, we can. And we can't actually get there. So let's wait a turn and then we'll go for it. Ooh, spicy moves from the AI there. Very nice. I don't like that, but uh, 
<laughs> I think we can beat it. It's just... When can we beat it? Do we beat it now? Or do we beat it later? That's the question. What do you have? Well, can't actually see. Once we do actually beat that, there's nothing they can do to stop us. So, oh, Sister Foroy, Heraclea, Hoplites. Oh, 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 oh. Well, I don't think we can wait, guys. So, let's get on with the battle. We've got less men, worse men, and just better generals, really. So, we might win, but uh, let's find out, guys. Well, as if to just be more annoying, the AI have decided to run away from our army and come over here. Apparently, this is some... Glorious high ground that the AI can use. Well done, AI. <laughs> well, we're going to try and get the enemy to engage with us, with our Asian slingers. Let's see if we can do. Our guys probably won't have the greatest mor morale, but neither will their guys, which is a good thing for us. Well, here come their hoplites, and so does the Zistaphoroi. Honestly, if the Zistaphoroi wants to get in the fight, I will absolutely oblige them. That would be fantastic for us. Because I want to kill that general, get rid of their cavalry, and then be able to do some damage with our general's bodyguards. So, let's go and have a go at him. Let's see whether he thinks he's hard enough. Whether he is, though, or not, I don't know. He's running away. He's going to get the charge, though, boys. There we go. That is very nice. Oh! Is that there, general? Please? Yes! <laughs> Glorious. Yes. Yes, yes. There we go. In for the charge on the Epibartai. Now the general has gone, guys. Let's see if we can catch this Prodromoy as well. That would be epic. So have we got a good charge off on those guys? Broken straight away. Now out this way, guys. Away from these hoplites. Away from them as quick as possible, my friends. You guys engage them. And uh, yeah, things are looking okay. Not amazing, but okay. <laughs> well, our lines are holding... Okay, not not fantastically well, but okay. We're managing to uh, break a lot of their units, but they will come back from routing. That is the problem here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to send these guys off. Actually, no, we're going to uh, try and kill them. And we're going to come back and go for the charges once again, my friends, into the back of the hoplites. We've lost a lot of cavalry, but it shouldn't be too much of a worry. Are these guys going for the old, uh, the old flankadoodle-do? Let's go. And straight in the back of there. No, you guys in there. And you guys in there. And we're going to uh, rally the men so we don't die with the general. Come on, boys. Let's go. Straight in the back there. Fighting to... Th that's, that, that was absolutely tasty. That was beautiful. That's what we like to see. And not so beautiful. Our, <laughs> our Pathlogonian cavalry got broken by some horophilarches. <laughs> ah, yes. Glorious. <laughs> well, that is what we call a, a spicy meatball on the channel. A glorious victory to start the campaign. Will my optimism last more than five minutes? Find out, guys. <laughs> and of course, guys, do remember that if you do like this content, then a like and subscribe would be massively appreciated. And of course, if you do like these challenges, there are plenty more. We've done Acrogas, we've done Priene, we've done Bithynia, so do check them out in the Total War Challenges uh, playlist down below. Oh, and that's, that's not so good. Look what they did to our poor spy! <laughs> well, general charge once again, my friends. Well, that was pretty easy, guys. <laughs> Glorious. Well, I don't think Tublaboop is too happy with those seven cavalrymen garrisoning the town, you know. Strong garrison. Well, let's go for the jewel of Heraclea Pontica. Heraclea Pontos. Well, everything is just on such a knife edge at the minute. I really do feel like we need to look after these troops. You're doing all right, guys. You're doing all right. You're doing well. Good, good. They're like gold dust to us. To well, our intricate plans are in place, my friends. How well they work, though, is a completely different question. <laughs> let's find out. Well, that seems to be going quite well. Um, Let's go, then. <laughs> nice. There we go, guys. Nicely surrounded the general now, which is fantastic. That should be good. Hopefully, we can get rid of him pretty quickly, but... uh. 
Let's see. And there we go. The king is dead, my friends. The king is dead. Well, that was working okay until I realized that these guys have to path. So, uh, yeah, <laughs> we'll keep on trying to skirmish them out of here. Whether it's possible or not, I don't know. Well, now we have an even sneakier little setup. So, uh, let's see if this does work. I, I don't hold out hope, but you never know. Go, Slingers, go, go. Now's the chance. Now's the chance, boys. Now's the chance. Come on. Nope. Fire at them again. Fire at them again. Make sure that they come. I don't mind sacrificing the slingers if it means fighting these guys. <laughs> come on. Off the town square. Come on, boys. Look at them go. Look at them go. <laughs> yes. 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 Go. 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 Fire. 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 Come on. <laughs> oh, no. No. Well, here it is. Here's our opportunity, guys. We're going to sandwich these boys. There we go. A nice juicy sandwich for the boys. <laughs> nice. There we go. Slingers, get out now, you fools. <laughs> and let's see. Get get out. That, that would be good. There we go, boys. There we go. And there we go. Let's go. Let's see if we can break these boys right in the bum hole. Let's go. Come on, boys. Come on. That was not a charge. <laughs> you idiot. And they seem to be... There we go. <laughs> I was going to say, they seem to be breaking... <laughs> Glorious, my friends. A lot of pain, a lot of effort in that battle. <laughs> Just so that we didn't lose many men, because, like I say, they're like gold dust. A little bit of dust. And I think we're going to exterminate Heraclea potatoes. Let's go. And suddenly, guys, we have money. Yes, and we're going to have even more in a second. Please, yes. Oh, glorious money. Yes. I love you. I love you. <laughs> Let's also destroy the militia barracks in Tulubulaboop and uh, get rid of that. That should allow us to now buy something that's going to be a little bit better for our happiness. Potentially that. And in Heraclea Pontos, guys, we're going to go for it. We're going to get Paphlagonia Recruitment 1 because we can get Her Heraclea Hoplites, which... I tell you what, it's a lot better than our long spearmen, even though they're pretty trashy hoplites overall. Um, yeah, that, that should be okay. Five turns. Five turns. We've got to wait for that. But um, yeah, like I say, we're migrating away from the dangers, really, aren't we here, guys? Ah, yes. The river ports. What a glorious building. 80% trading components. That's fantastic. Yes. <laughs> oh, God damn it. They spawned in another general. That's not ideal, I've got to say. Um, yeah. Uh, well, I guess we're going to have to just deal with it as usual. <laughs> well, here we go, guys. Looks like we can get the big bad encirclement going again. So let's get our general around there. Let's get these guys on fire at will ASAP. Come on, General, let's go. Speed up, my friend. Speed up. Well, come on, General. Kill the goddamn Greek slingers so we can go and kill these General's bodyguards because they are running rampant through our men at the minute. Luckily, we don't have anything to worry about after this. Let's rally the men so our General doesn't die. And now it's just a case of killing some General's bodyguards, which, um, yeah, not all the easiest things to kill, are they, my friends? Well, there we go. The first king is dead. Or, well, the, I mean, this guy is the last king, I guess. <laughs> Go on, General Bodyguards. Carrying it for us once again. That's what we like to see. And a bit more of a difficult one than last time, but Heraclea Pontica should be dead now. But the question remains, what do we do now? <laughs> And there we go, Heraclea Pontica is destroyed, and we exterminated this settlement too. It's actually Paphlagonian culture, so we are just, you know, uniting the great Paphlagonian tribes. <laughs> Don't need that. The question remains though, what in the name of Saturn's big mouth do we do now? I mean, Bithynia is probably a target worth taking, right? But can can we can we beat them with this? <laughs> I don't think so. <laughs> Maybe we just need some more troops. Ah, yes. We're, we're making loads of money. I'm, I'm sure that's going to be fantastic. Oh, glorious. And we got a general. He's a stern, intelligent, charismatic man. So, uh, yeah, absolutely. Bring him over here, my friends. I think we want to probably use his three management in um, Heraclea Pontos, honestly. Um, and these guys can come on join. 
And you guys are going back for retraining the first cheeky retrain of the campaign. Well, in true AI fashion, the AI just offered us a trade agreement and has parked their army right next to us. Well, I think I know what that means. <laughs> I'm not going to lie. <laughs> Goodbye. You, you, you can take a bit of time taking it, but Jesus Christ. Thanks, AI. <laughs> They ask you how you are, you just have to say that you're fine, when you're not really fine. And as expected... Ah, thanks, Bythinia. Always good to see you, my friends. Uh, what? <laughs> Where does that one come from? Um, <laughs> why? Honestly, guys, sometimes, sometimes, <laughs> the pain... <laughs> Oh, well, it, at least it looks like it's shit, so that's one good thing, right? <laughs> well, I think we're going to have to rely on the uh, cav for this one. <laughs> oh, the jabbies, boys. The jabbies are absolutely savaging them. Glorious. Get away from that cav right away, my friends. Let's get engaged in the combat. And we can run around all day. No problem, my friends. No problem. Away from that Zistaphoroi. They're not happy, I've got to say. <laughs> Don't blame them, though, really, do you? <laughs> and now let's just get our uh, four General's bodyguards into the action. <laughs> Very nice. There we go for the General, my friends. Very good indeed. Very good indeed. We caught him pretty much in a sandwich, and he's already dead. Glorious. Glorious, glorious, glorious. That's what we like to see. Well, here we go, Greek hoplites. I don't think you're going to survive this for too long, my friends. There we go. <laughs> Straight in there. Look at that. Very nice. Very nice indeed. Nice. Well, that's what you get when you put four Asian royal bodyguards on the battlefield, I guess. Nice. Well, we got rid of the other Kios general, so... Now we've just got this left. Whether that's possible or not, though, is a completely, completely different question. Um, let's make sure these guys are happy and they're not. Oh, well, that's that's fantastic. Um, uh, <laughs> I mean, there's nothing really that heavy there, but I feel like our infantry is just going to rout pretty quickly. It's going to be another cavalry one, isn't it, my friends? So, um... Uh, let's 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 go yay well let's meet fire with fire with these hippocontisti my friends let's get rid of them should be nice and easy for us because we should have a much bigger advantage against them so that should be pretty darn good for us we may have to uh slightly run away from this swan however <laughs> but that's fine uh cavalry is going to be our absolute need here well there goes one of their general's bodyguards suiciding into our boys so um let's oblige them shall we guys <laughs> let's oblige them and as expected our infantry is doing horribly horribly like really really badly i think they're getting absolutely peppered by uh, javis so i think there's only one thing for it it's called mass cavalry my friends that's big brain play it's big brain play and mass cavalry seems to be working relatively all right. <laughs> so uh, let's keep it up all the way through these boys. Let's go. They are very good units, actually, the Thracian Pelta. So we have to be uh, relatively careful. <laughs> um, but yeah, mass cavalry, only doctrine to use here, guys. And as expected, they all routed. But um, yeah, don't think uh, our infantry's too happy right now. <laughs> <laughs> right, Cav, one glory charge. Please make this a good one, my friends. Please make this a good one. Straight in the back of the Romphephore and the Hoplites. They haven't lost their general yet, though, and that's part of the problem here. Well, the Asian Slingers did an actually fantastic job, I'm not going to lie. Um, they fought a lot longer than anyone else. So, uh, yeah, well done, Asian Slingers. Great job. Here we go then. Charging the Romphephoroi. Let's see. Can we beat them before they get their javies off? Doesn't... Mm, there we go. Broken. Go on, the boys. <laughs> That's fantastic. And if you're wondering what the Bithynian general's been doing, he's been chasing these guys forever, <laughs> which is absolutely fantastic. I love that. Well, time now for a hoplite sandwich. Let's see. Can we get the good sandwich off? Let's see. There we go. The charge wasn't the best, but there we go. Broken them straight away. Very nice, my friends. Well, here comes the general. 
One glory charge for him and a glory charge for us too. Let's go, boys. Straight down the hill, straight at him. He's very tired. A lot more tired than we are. So that should be a glorious charge. Straight into Drenis. The fool instantly dead. Nice, nice, nice. Oh, the gods have favored us, but for how long? <laughs> So we have five gold. Glorious, glorious. It's only going to take about 160, 70 turns to get out of this mess. And as much as I want to put the pressure on by Thinia, guys, I think we might need a little bit of extra infantry. <laughs> and unsurprisingly, Kios wants a ceasefire. <laughs> Fair play, bro. And I've just realized we're not going to be able to retrain our troops, guys. We've got no money. <laughs> Bro. Is there anything we can destroy? Oh, God. And Kios is back. Why are you back, Kios? You just signed a ceasefire with us. Oh, dearie, dearie me. And we can even retrain here now. Um, anything that we can afford. Please. Please. We can afford them. Glorious. Glorious. Oh, Bythinia, you are a little tease, aren't you, my friends? Leaving your lands undefended. Oh, thank you. Thank you so much. Oh, and the gods have smiled on us today. Look at that. Pro McCoy and, of course, the glorious Nicomedes. But uh, time for Nicomedes to be uh, gone. Well, I think this again, of course, is one for the cavalry, my friends. Time for the sandwich, my friends. We've got to go for it. This is how we're going to win most of these battles. So, uh... <laughs> Sandwich, sandwich, wee oui, wee. Oui. Time to charge with the back. We fired a few javelins at first just to get rid of a lot of their general's bodyguard. And that is glorious. I love to see that. Oh, Bithynia, what are you doing, you fools? And there's only one thing for it, guys. Wait, Bithynia died? <laughs> oh, that's... Not good. Oh, no, no, no. Ah, well, I think we um, ignore that because someone else that I... I want to have a few words with, if I've got to be honest. Why do you keep attacking us, Gios? Why? Why? <laughs> Why? Really? Really, Gios? You think you're hard enough. You want to come and have a go if you think you're hard enough. Really? Really? Well, come and have a go if you think you're hard enough. Well, they weren't hard enough. <laughs> Oopsie. Well, see, does this land is going to fall into the hands of the Seleucids or someone very soon. Um, yeah, I think this is uh, in order. <laughs> Oh, wow, guys. We've increased our trading capabilities so much that now it's six rather than five. Oof. That is a spicy meatball. Honestly, not too sad about this, really. <laughs> and look at that, guys. Um, we have we have our plights. Yes. It almost makes me want to cry. Oh, yeah. Well, Byzantium can go for Nicomedia because... um. We've got a little different target on our minds. <laughs> Let's go. No! 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 Time for the City of World's Desire, my friends. Well, looks like the generals are going to get back to work again. Honestly, all I see right now in this army is just Asian Royal General's bodyguard. Asian Royal Bodyguards. That, that's... That's just our army, right? <laughs> Legally blind. Come on, boys. One more charge. There we go. Straight in the back of these boys. Nice. Shaking and wavering already. <laughs> Very nice. Look at that. Uns uh, unhappy about taking casualties. Of course, it is the glorious general's bodyguards. <laughs> this guy, however, does have a monstrous bodyguard. Look at that. 52 men. Very nice. But, uh... I still think we might win this. <laughs> and there we go. Absolutely ruined, my friends. Very nice indeed. Now time for a little baity bait. So let's go. Get out of there now, my friends. Is this going to work this time? Um, Don't look like it. Not going to lie. <laughs> well, it doesn't look like we're going to be able to uh, completely get them off the town square. But we will be able to charge them in the back. 
So that should be pretty nice for us. So uh, let's get in there. Let's see if we can shove them off the town square with our cavalry. That would be the best option for us here. Hopefully the charge is good, though. <laughs> oh, oh, it was good, my friends. It was good. Very nice. Let's do that again. <laughs> Glorious. Well, they seem very intent on chasing our cavalry here. So, um, yeah, I'm just primarily using the generals, of course, because they replenish. So let's make sure our generals don't die. Do hate the fact that the AI does that every time, which completely neuters any charge. If that happened in real life, they would get absolutely savaged by the uh, hoplites behind them. Similar to how we kind of get a, a lot of damage from withdrawing from the fight every now and then. Uh, they are wavering, but that doesn't really matter because they're on the town square. But let's go, boys. Let's see if we can finally get rid of these fools. God damn, they're, they're so... Why are they so tough? They're literally just Greek hoplites, for God's sake. Well, let's just munch them on the town square, shall we? We'll absolutely crush them here. That shouldn't be a problem. There we go. Very nice indeed. Glorious victory once again, my friends. Ooh, that's got a sting. And once again, we're going to do the double oopsie. Bang, bang. There we go. Fantastic. Now, we are going to make this into a recruitment hub. I know it seems a bit silly, but, um, you know, we want to migrate from our glorious land, shall we say, to land that's, um, yeah, fan fantastic. Yeah, yeah, let's go with that. It's absolutely fantastic. <laughs> and, of course, we're going to do what all good Byzantium stands should always do once they conquer Byzantium. Make it into our capital. <laughs> Oh, well, I, I wonder what that means, Galatians. I, I really wonder. <laughs> well, how about an alliance, my friends? Most generous proposal. <laughs> I've never seen something so stupid. Really, Kizikus? Really? <laughs> well, don't mind me, guys. Just um, scamming the AI a little bit. Um, yeah. <laughs> Sometimes the AI does really amuse me <laughs> like why have you not built anything do you not know that we're gonna go and um you know have a look at your land shall we say ah <laughs> oh, kizikus not known for your intelligence i presume you are so dumb you are really dumb for real there we go another one to add to the collection and because this is um you know I guess you'd call it Seleucid fodder. I don't think we're going to be needing any of these buildings. I'm not going to lie, guys. Well, Byzantium, don't mind if I do. Now, this is really important. We kill this general, guys, because that's the general inside the city. And if we don't, there is a pretty large Byzantine army nearby. So, um, yeah, uh, no pressure. Well, if they're going to leave their... Uh, I could just die out like this. We might as well go for the kill. No point just letting them get away with firing at our men. So uh, let's do that. And while we've done that, let's move our men forward too. Looks like their general's going to come for a bit of a party, which might be quite good for us, honestly. Um, but yeah, we've got to, like I say, we've got to make sure we kill him. Luckily, we have a light cab to chase after him, if necessary. If necessary, my friends. Here we go. Into the general now, guys. Into the general. We've got to try and kill him. There we go. Let's kill him. We are going to get stuck with the Greek hoplites a little bit. But hopefully we're going to be okay. There we go. General is routing. That's not good for us, though. We need one of these guys to chase up. Ah, yes. Come on. Right. We've got to just kill the rest of the army now. That's the main thing. Uh, you guys get here. Fire at them. Soften them up a little bit. And then we're going to go for the juicy charge, my friends. The juicy charge, as usual. Straight in the back. Look at that. Look at that. Go on, boys. Another volley. Another volley, men. Come on. Another volley. Look at that. Oh, my God. Absolutely brutalizing them. Very nice. And he run down. Yes. Yes, 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 yes. That is what we like to see, my friends. And straight in the Thurio 4 a.m. we broke them, right? <laughs> well, I don't think that could have got any more glorious than that. That was amazing. 
Fantastic, my friends. And there we go. Two men left. What a glorious victory. And another Byzantine town shall be ours. Well, another double oopsie for us there, guys. Now, what we are going to do now is leave behind one of these boys. I'm pressing the wrong button there. One of these boys. One of the old cab. But we can't actually move. Problem is, this army is actually quite nice. And I don't want to be caught inside the city if, <laughs> if they attack us. Because... I don't think we win that, honestly. We do have some reinforcements on the way. Maybe we do win that, then. Hmm. Well, um... I guess we'll find out, won't we, guys? <laughs> um... I don't think so. <laughs> well, not gonna lie. I don't like the look of that garrison. <laughs> so, um... Yeah, let's hide in the trees by some pots. I think that's, um... <laughs> I think that's gonna be the best option for us. Oh, well, I'm certainly not going to be wasting troops on this stupid battle. Um, yeah, no. <laughs> oh, come on, Bifidians. Really? Rebels? Oh, God. You really have to do this, don't you? God damn it. Tell you what, though. There's one good thing about this battle map. <laughs> well, as the AI normally does, they're going for some insane flanking maneuvers. Don't think it's really going to save them, honestly, but, um, yeah, it's quite funny, though. <laughs> I, I never know why they do this. <laughs> so, uh, let's kill that general, and then I think we're going to be good for the rest of the battle, honestly. Very nice, my friends. Well, cavalry, that is one hell of a target there, and they're already wavering. So, let's go straight for them. Let's see if we can uh, take out that Greek general as well. <laughs> Even though they are Bithynians, apparently, he's got a Greek general. <laughs> is pretty insane oh there we go mass route can we go down the line then can we go down the line everyone is routing <laughs> ah, 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 ah. come on yes the mass routes for the boys glorious well that didn't last long did it <laughs> not gonna lie i really don't like the look of nicomedia right now but they might sally out there might be a chance that they sally out but look at the amount of cav they've got Woo, spicy. That is a lot of cav. And quite a lot of infantry as well. Although lots of it is, of course, slingers and the like. So, uh, I guess we're going to find out, guys. <laughs> ah, yes. <laughs> so, it has come to this. Honestly, Galatians, you can have it, my friends. <laughs> I really, really do not care. So, uh, let's at least get some money from Gangra. I don't even want Gangra anymore. So, uh, yeah, we'll take the money. You can have this place. I really, really couldn't care less. We have we have better places now. We have better places. Well, luckily for us, because Nicomedia is only a town, it's only four turns to siege it down. So why take this fight? Let's siege them down and just let them die. I would have liked to have taken Salimbria, but taking Kizikos was the main issue at the time. But yeah, Salimbria would have been nice, but oh well. Not for us to take, unfortunately, this time. Well, enjoy this settlement, my friends. Enjoy it. And here we go, guys. The final battle of Byzantium. Let's go. So here we go, guys. We've set up behind the rams, so it basically will disrupt any charges that they decide to do with their infantry, etc. So, um... Yeah, this should be quite nice. We might even be able to get, like, most of these guys gone before their cav even gets here. That's the plan anyway. So let's get a moving along. You guys are impetuous now, which is great for us. Let's uh, try and... Uh, we'll probably try and protect our flank there. And uh, let's get into these fools. Uh, we really don't need to worry about um, these guys too much. So uh, let's, uh, let's get into them while we can. Gonna stop you firing at will for now. You guys get them. What do we have coming? We've got Prodromoy on the way. Not really too much of a concern, I've got to say. Straight into the Greek Peltas. Let's go then, boys. Let's go. And these guys can protect our flanks pretty nicely indeed. You guys fire on the Prodromoy. There we go. Let's kill them. Keep going, boys. Keep going. Keep going. And what I'm gonna do is send a guy through, of course. Although they've got Pythagoras over there. Don't like what they're doing with the rest of their cavalry now. Why are some of our guys dying so much? What is killing them? Was it the Prodromoy? Is this the Foroi there? Let's kill them. 
How are you dying so much? You're off fire at will. One of our, one of our generals has died. <clears throat> Who has been killing the general? What? Did, what the hell? That's so strange. I honestly don't understand that at all. Um, but okay, we were just dying while they were routing. That makes perfect sense. <laughs> Well, we're just surrounding them. Remember, guys, this is their last turn to survive. So all we need to do is just rout everyone. And we shall be successful. So we are going to go after that Zistaphoroi. Uh, we're also going to try and get rid of this Prodromoi with our Javis themselves. So that should be good. These guys are just fully surrounded now. They're not dying very quickly, of course. Because, of course, they are goddamn um, Greek hoplites. And our guys are trash compared to them. <laughs> Even though Greek hoplites are awful. But, uh, yeah, you know, we're, we're doing all right. We're doing all right. I don't know about the rest of their cavalry. They're just chilling inside for some reason, but okay. So strange. I don't know why our general died before, but um, he did. So uh, let's give these Greek hoplites a charge and see what happens. Let's also rally the troops. And then what do we have left? We've pretty much got two Prodromoi and a general. And maybe a little bit of half a Prodromoi as well, which is fine. There we go. We've routed those boys now. Let's let them rout so they can run away. And, um, I mean, it's up to them. If they want to come outside the city and attack us, they can do. If they want to chill inside the city, that's fine. If it's a draw, we win. So, um, yeah, great. Well, looks like it's going to be a draw. Yes, of course. Let's end the battle there. They did actually kill a few. But, um, yeah, glorious. Now, Byzantium... Should hopefully be dead. <laughs> and there we go, Nicomedia. Let's just occupy Nicomedia this time. Glorious. And Byzantium falls, my friends. Very nice indeed. That's what we like to see, isn't it? Fantastic. Well, guys, I think we're going to end that there, guys, I think. Because um, I think we've survived. Like... I just about think we're at the point now where we have survived. We've lost our homeland, but who gives a fuck about that, honestly? <laughs> um, and yeah, I think we have survived, you know. Bit scary with these two armies right here. Obviously, we're playing on very hard, so the AI is obsessed above anything else with the player. We'll be losing territory like nothing else somewhere else, but just doesn't care about that. Just wants to fight us. Oh, um... But anyway, yeah, I think we're, we're, we're in an okay situation. And yeah, we might be uh, going and expanding up into the north of Thrace too sometime soon. So if you do want to see that, guys, then uh, 150 likes and we will do a part two, a numero duo. Now, that doesn't make any sense. But anyway, a, num <laughs> a number two. <laughs> If you want if you want us to do a number two, guys, yeah, 150 likes. And if you did enjoy this content, guys, a subscribe would be amazingly appreciated. Also have a membership program where you can get access to these videos slightly earlier and get the save games after each video. So do check that out as well. But anyway, guys, thank you so much for watching. We survived-ish. We didn't thrive, but we survived as Pathlogonia. What a cursed challenge. I'm going to go and rip my own eyeballs out with some rusty spoons. Thank you for watching.